19 cases of measles have now been reported in Franklin County at a dozen daycare centers and schools. Health officials have not specified exactly where, and that is frustrating for some parents of young children. NBC4's Anna Hoffman spoke with medical experts and tells us why that is. Local physicians say a measles outbreak like this is rare, but still it's happening, and some parents say they want more information. I haven't heard about a measles outbreak in uh, maybe ever. Kelly Morgan Lutzko has two young kids, a four-year-old son and an eight-month-old daughter. So my big concern isn't even really with him. It's about my daughter who has not had her vaccination yet because babies are too young to be vaccinated. She says hearing there is a measles outbreak across daycare centers and schools in Columbus is concerning. But what scares her even more is not knowing exactly where those cases are coming from. I was a little concerned, confused as to why the information about which child care center was not disclosed to parents so we could at least have somewhat of an understanding about where it's coming from, how to avoid it. Ben Bring, a physician with Ohio Health, says he believes the local health department usually lets the daycare decide if they want their name publicized. I think from a public health standpoint, we, we have to know for contact tracing purposes, who has tested positive versus who hasn't, you know, but as far as, um, you know, broadcasting it, you know, I think that would be uh, something that I'd probably just keep, uh, you know, among the daycare. Another concern for parents is contact tracing. They worry because kids don't just go to schools or daycares. They also go to playgrounds or youth groups. So that's really where we would rely on them and their expertise to help us with some of that contact tracing. If you go onto the CDC's website, they actually have the total number of reported measles cases in the United States. We know that it's evidence based. Bring says the CDC coming to Columbus to help with the outbreak will also help with contact tracing. He says getting the MMR vaccine is still your best line of defense against the virus. And he says there are boosters available for anyone in a high risk environment. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.